Okay, lesson two. So we're going to review what we learned in the previous lesson. Remember our scales and remember the numbers. This is going to get important. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And also, remember what the notes are. Because when I say notes, we know this is a C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. This is also an A. So if I say go to an A, that's an A. And the way you can remember is, so we start with the C. The C is always right next to these two. That's where the C is. And the A is always here, in between these three. The F is always here. But if you play the C scale over and over again, C, D, you can always figure it out. C, you always start with C. D, E, F, G, A, B, C. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Nobody's going to test you on it, but if you play it over and over again, you will eventually just remember it. So you know, nothing to worry about. You will eventually remember it. Now I'm going to teach one more scale. We only need to learn two scales. One more scale, which is the chromatic scale. And we don't use this a lot, but it's important to understand what it is, because there's seven notes in the major scale. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti. Do is the eighth note, but it's the same as that one. But there's 12 notes in the chromatic scale, because we're missing some of the notes. There's seven of these, and there's five of those. Seven plus five is 12. So there's 12 different notes. Let's look at those notes. C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, oh, there's no E sharp. Hmm, interesting. I'll explain that in a second. F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, there's no B sharp, C. These notes also can be flats. This is C, C sharp, D, that's also D flat. D flat and C sharp are the same note. So this note here is a G sharp or is an A flat. Now, what is interesting is why is there no black note in here? That's just the way they built it. And here's something important to remember. This is very important. These notes are the same. They change the same amount, even if there's no black note. So these are exactly the same. Each one of these is exactly the same. Why is that important? These have names. We're going to get to the fun stuff soon. So these are these have these are names. This is a half step. When you go up only one note, it's called a half step. When you go up two notes, it's called a full step. I promise you will understand this very soon. Let me give you an example. When you play the C scale, how many steps are we going up each time? It's different. That's one whole step. See? Two notes. That's one whole step again, because we're going up two notes. Wait! That's only a half step. It's a half step. Whole, 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 half. Remember this. This is the one, this is how you really remember the scale. Because if you remember it this way, you can start on any note. Watch, C. Whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Okay? Whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. 
it's the same as the two and the three. Whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Now, let's, instead of starting on C, we are in the key of C. Let's start in a different key, because it's going to sound different. Let's start in G. I'm going to go to the fifth. This is important, too. One, two, three, four, five. The fifth is a G. 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 I'm going to play the G scale. Whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. And I'm going to use the same fingering. But I'm going to start here. Whole, whole, half, whole, whole. Whole. Black note. Half. Let's do that again. Whole, whole, half, whole, whole, whole. I go up two. The key of G has an F sharp. Wow. Sounds different. So I can go to a C scale. To a G. And I can improvise in G. And here's what's fun is improvising in G is a little bit different than improvising in C because instead of hitting the F, you hit the F sharp. There's 12 different notes. We just did two of them. So now we go to the G, and we're going to do what's called the circle of fifths. So we went from C to the fifth. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, and play the G scale. Let's do it again. Start at the G. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. That's D. And here's a little trick. D is going to have two sharps. Watch this. Whole, 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 half, whole, 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 half. Wow, that's a lot to learn. But if you play it over and over again, each week do a different scale. Each day do a different scale. And each scale sounds different. And the more scales you learn, the more you can play Fun, more and more fun music. To G. And to C. You can start on C. Go to G. Now go to D. Let's try a little improvisation in D. G. To C. Like that. Let me give you an example of a song that's in the key of G and D. Thank you. 
end this lesson going through the circle of fifth from C to all 12 notes and I'll show you the different scales and each one has a l the fingering can be a little bit different most fingering is like this but you can't do that with certain scales like C sharp it's too weird to do it though you have to start on this finger but let's do it in order instead of doing it this C C sharp circle of fifths so C, G, D, A, E, B, I'll show, I'll show you that. So we'll start with C, watch my fingering. Now the fifth is G, we'll start down here. Fifth, one, two, three, four, is A. We'll start here, A. One. That one's got three sharps. Every time you go, you add a sharp. Start on E. This one's gonna have four sharps. And the fingering is the same. The next one is one, two, three, four, five. Now we're B. Start here, B. This one's got five sharps. Gets harder and harder. So we're using all the black notes in the key of B. F sharp. One, two, three, four, five. Start here. Now this is the first one where we can't really... Oh, we can. We can't actually play it like this. We can play F sharp like this. Oops, I play it. I start with my second finger. Start with your second finger on this one. You could start with your third, first finger. You just play it over and over again, see which one's best for you. Now this one has six sharps. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. One, two, three, four, five, six sharps. Oh my god. The next one is one, two, three, four, five, C sharp. Now, G sharps can only have four sharps. Now we start going backwards. So we go from six to five, I think. This one all starts on the second finger. Learning all these fingerings is hard, but just practice it, and pretty soon you'll just know how to do it. That one also has six sharps. People don't use C sharp a lot because it has a lot of sharps. But when you do use C sharp, it sounds really good because so people are so used to hearing C. So you hearing C, if I play C sharp, it sounds very different. So after C sharp, one, two, three, four, five, now we have G sharp. Right? G sharp. start going down in the num number of sharps. One, two, three. One. So we're starting to go back. We're starting to go back to C. So the number of sharps is five instead of six. So we call this these flats. So instead of calling it G sharp, 
for some reason, they decided to call this one A flat. G sharp is the same as A flat. Um, you can call it G sharp, but most people call it A flat. See, I don't even know my scales perfectly. Go to the fifth. One, two, three, four, five. We're on E flat. And we're only going to have three flats. So we'll start E flat. So starting on the second finger. We go to the fifth. One, two, three, four, five. We're on B flat. B flat. B flat. Which has two flats. And guess what? When we get to one flat, we'll be back to C. B flat. songs. We're going to do that next. Once you learn your scales, you can start to play songs. Songs are made out of chords. This is a scale. If I take the first, the third, and the fifth, that's a chord. Guess what song that is? When I find myself in... I'm going to do G. Times of trouble Mama Mary comes to me those are chords. We'll learn those next. Because once you learn your scales, you can learn your chords. And once you learn your chords, you can learn how to play songs. So every so the circle of fifths, C, G. Notice I hit the wrong note there. songs are written by following the circle of fifths. It's a song, do that again. C, G, D, A. Go back. You just wrote a song, circle of fifths. C, G, I'm playing the chords, which I'll show you next. The thing is to practice and practice, but have fun while you're practicing. And practice your whole body. Remember, you want to feel. You want to feel and play the way you feel. Your whole body, rock it back and forth. To G.
We'll see, see you soon. soon. Thank you.